Hey there folks, welcome to Astronomy with Josh Spacecraft Maintenance Division. Today, we're going to learn how to collimate your Newtonian reflector. In other words, keep that spaceship running in tip-top shape. All you need are a few simple tools. We got, uh, well, my telescope has a two-inch focuser, so that's just an adapter right there. This is the only thing you have to make, and it's an eyepiece cap that goes over the inside of the focusers, I'll show you in a minute and you just draw a little target on it right there. You might already have one of these. This is just a laser collimator, but we're gonna use it in a different way that makes it a whole lot more accurate with inexpensive ingredients here, and this is a Barlow lens. It does not have to be a fancy one. This is actually a really lousy one right here. So uh, let's get to it. Welcome to the hangar, as I call it. Well, it's my garage, right here, with telescopes. Spaceships, right? This fella right here is called a portable, because it's portable and it's a ball. Clever, right? It looks weird, but it works the same as your Newtonian reflector. Yours might look a lot more like this. A Newtonian reflector is often mounted on a Dobsonian base invented by John Dobson. That's his autograph. Pretty cool, right? And this is an equatorial mount. If yours looks like this, it'll still work. Different design to hold it up. This is a refractor right here. So you do have to collimate these, but rarely. How this works is the starlight comes down here, hits that big mirror, that's the primary mirror, bounces up to the secondary mirror right here, and then comes out the eyepiece. So we put a laser on the eyepiece, and it shines secondary, down to the primary, back up to the secondary, and then into a little target. But here's the problem with most laser pointers, especially if they're quote unquote cheap. This one's like a $50 one. Look, I can just move this all around all that slop in there, right? So, how do you know if your laser is accurate? And it's just a cheap little laser pointer in here, so it's really not a precision thing. So what you do is you use the Barlow. Okay, so you put a Barlow lens in here, put our laser in there, and then hit it. Now watch what happens here. It just turns into a, it's not a laser anymore, it's just more like a flashlight, right? The diffused beam there. Notice this little thing on my mirror. This is just a paper binder called a center dot, so that's the exact mark of the center. So this is going to cast a shadow, and even if we move the laser around, the shadow is going to stay in the same place, which is the beauty of this. So then I've put my target on the inside of the focuser right here. See this? Put this. So the, the laser shines through the hole, down to the mirror, that center dot on the mirror casts a shadow back up, and you can see this little donut. Now you see the little donut's a little bit off there. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the primary mirror until that donut is centered. Do remember to take this out. I loaned a buddy a telescope and I never took it out and he said the images were dim, no wonder. Most reflectors, if it's a closed tube like this, these adjustments are gonna be on the back. Case, okay, adjustments are on the front. I'm just gonna turn these screws a little bit while I look up at the shadow and line that up, turn them until the shadow is centered just a little bit. There you go. That's pretty close and if I was real picky I could get even closer. Really easy and look the laser's moving all around. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's a real nice way to get good collimation on your Newtonian reflector. And a lot of people shy away from reflectors because they're worried about collimating them. But it's just like tuning your guitar. You know you wouldn't want to not get a guitar because you don't want to learn how to tune it. With the Barlow laser, it's pretty easy to get spot on collimation easily in just a matter of seconds, really. Once you get the hang of it, you can do it in the field, you can do it in the dark. You can get some great images out of awesome telescopes with a little know how. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. Now, there's other ways to collimate it. You can use something called a Cheshire eyepiece. You can use just a straight laser. There's a couple other things to do. Rarely you're gonna to have to collimate the secondary mirror and a straight laser is good for that. So the laser without the Barlow. So there's all sorts of little tips and tricks, but really don't be scared of it. Give it a shot. You got this. We'll see you around. Clear skies.